Uh, good day class. Uh, in this video, we will talk about surface tension. Its symbol is sigma. So, ano ba tong surface tension? Uh, it is a material property whereby a liquid at a material interface. Usually, liquid gas. So, liquid sa ilalim, uh, gas sa taas. Uh, exerts a force per unit length along the surface. So, yung formula niya to compute for the uh, surface tension force is sigma L. So, force is equal to surface tension times the length. So, yun. F sigma is the tension force. Uh, L is the length over which the surface tension acts. Uh, example, uh, sigma of water or surface tension of water is uh, 0 0.073 newton per uh, meter. So, to uh, understand more about surface tension, uh, let's watch this uh, video. Welcome to a Mad Scientist production of Surface Tension, in which we will look at how intermolecular forces affect the surface of a liquid. So what is going on at the surface of a liquid? Let's take a look by shrinking to the nanoscale. So here we are looking at the individual molecules in a liquid, and let's say that each blue circle represents a molecule of water. Due to kinetic energy, the particles that make up a liquid are in constant random motion, and so they will have a random arrangement. You might expect the particles at the surface, at the micro level, to form a random surface as shown here. But what we should find out is how do intermolecular attractions influence the surface? First, let's look at intermolecular forces under the surface, where attractions of individual molecules pull on each other in all directions. At the surface, pull on the molecules is lateral and downward. There is negligible attractions above the molecules, and so the net force on surface molecules is downward. The result of this downward force is that surface particles are pulled down until counterbalanced by the compression resistance of the liquid. Surface molecules are compressed more tightly together at the surface, forming a sort of skin on the surface with less distance between them compared to the molecules below them. Surface molecules also form a much smoother surface than one would expect from randomly moving molecules. What do you think surface tension would do to a liquid not confined in a container? In this model of a small water droplet, what is the net direction of the force on the surface molecules? That's right, it is toward the center and so a free-falling drop of liquid takes on a spherical shape. Here we see water dripping from a faucet. If this does not look familiar to you, turn on your faucet at home with very little pressure and see what happens. Or do an internet search for the behavior of water in zero gravity to get a great view of surface tension. Water in particular has a very high surface tension. Do you know the reason for this? What creates the attraction between water molecules? In looking at an individual water molecule, we can see the particularly strong attraction between the oxygen and hydrogen due to their opposite charges. Hydrogen has a strong partial positive charge and oxygen a strong partial negative charge. This strong attraction occurs between any water molecules close by. The strong partial charges result in a strong attraction between water molecules called hydrogen bonding. Interestingly, there are creatures that have evolved to take advantage of water's high surface tension. The water strider is a common insect that you may have encountered. What adaptation in their feet has occurred to take advantage of water's surface tension? Think about it. See ya. Uh, okay, so now you understand uh, how surface tension works. Uh, let's uh, explore some scenarios or cases where we can apply a uh, surface tension uh, formula or concept. So first, uh, we have here a sp spherical droplet of radius 
reduce R. So, ito. Uh, the surface tension force is balanced by the internal uh, pressure. So, we have here pressure acting on the cross-sectional area of the sphere. So, yung area na uh, need natin is yung circular area. And, yung tensional forces are uh, F sigma. Ayan. So, uh, originally, uh, F sigma is equal to sigma L. Uh, since this is equal to the uh, force uh, resulting from the pressure acting on the area, so we have sigma L is equal to pressure times uh, area. Uh, now, the length of the sphere is uh, 2 pi r or the circumference. Uh, the area of the sphere is pi r squared or the cross-sectional area. Now, uh, substituting uh, these values to L and A, we have uh, 2 pi r sigma is equal to pressure times pi r squared. And so, we can uh, cancel uh, phi and r. So, matitira dito, uh, pressure is equal to 2 sigma divided by r. So, that's for spherical droplet of radius r. Okay, next. So, spherical bubble of radius r. So, spherical bubble, uh, same lang naman. So, dito tayo magsimula. Sigma L is equal to pressure times area. So, L is the circumference pa din. The area is pi r squared. Uh, substitution. And, parehas lang dun sa case 1. Uh, finally, we have this uh, pressure is equal to uh, 2 sigma divided by r. So, if you were ask to find the maximum pressure uh, in order to in order for the spherical bubble not to burst you can use this formula 2, two sigma divided by the radius okay so we have here case 3 uh, cylinder with length l so ito cross sectional area ng cylinder so cylinder supported by surface tension forces so, the liquid does not wet the cylinder surface. Yan, tama naman. Kasi pag nabasa siya, it will add to the mass or weight of the cylinder. So, the maximum weight the surface tension can support is, so, i-balance lang natin. So, weight is equal to twice no uh, tension force. So, weight is equal to 2 F uh, sigma. Uh, of course, since F sigma is equal to sigma L, so 2 F sigma is equal to 2 sigma L. So, yan. So, simple lang siya. For cylinder width length L. So, pwede mo tong gamitin if you are tasked to find the maximum weight of the cylinder. We have here case 4 which is a ring with internal and external diameter. So, in this case, the ring is being pulled out of a liquid. The force due to surface tension on the ring is... And so, there's a surface tension force inside and outside. So, yung total force is the sum of uh, internal and external. So, yung formula for the internal uh, tension force is sigma L, which is the length is the circumference of the internal uh, circle. So, phi D. And also, for the 
external surface tension force. Uh, we use also sigma L, but this time we use the phi D or outside diameter. So, circumference ulit siya. Now, substitute these values onto the original equation. We get a uh, total or F sigma, total surface tension force, is equal to sigma phi internal diameter plus uh, sigma phi times external or outer diameter. Uh, and so... Finally, we have F sigma is equal to phi sigma multiplied by the quantity internal diameter of the ring plus the outer diameter of the uh, ring. Okay, so that's the four cases or four scenario for uh, we can apply surface tension. So let's practice. Uh, problem 2.51, uh, a water bag is suspended on the surface of a pond by surface tension. So, water does not wet the legs. So, the bag has six legs. Uh, in each leg is in contact with the water over a length of 5 mm. So, what is the maximum mass in grams of the bag if it is ab to avoid sinking? So need to find the maximum mass of the bug. So we can treat this as case 3 or cylinder with length L. So let's maximize that uh, uh, area. Uh, we get ito, yung cross-sectional area ng cylinder. So maalala nyo yung formula ng uh, cylinder with length L is weight is equal to uh, 2 sigma L. So, ito, uh, isang leg lang to. So, per leg. Weight per leg. Yan. So, let's compute for that. So, first, sigma for water or surface tension for water is 0 0.073 newton per meter. Uh, the length for the, for each leg is 0 0.005 meter. So, substitution. So, the weight per leg the bug can have is uh, 2 times 0 0.073 times 0 0.005. So, kailangan yung weight ng isang leg is uh, 0 0.0073 newton per leg. So, dahil anim yung legs niya, uh, we need to multiply this by 6, uh, which is equal to the total mass of the bag multiplied by g or the acceleration due to gravity and so 0 0.00073 times 6 is equal to m times 9.81 and so solve for mass uh, finally we have 4.47 times 10 raised to negative 4 kilogram